And you've not learned Vivify yet. The fact that there are two of them is what's dangerous. Yeah, that's, defi that's definitely at least a 15 year gap. On uh, these types of games versus the Wii, so I can I can understand your feelings on that. But I guess on on, on the one side, as you can see, the influence a lot of, on a lot of those games that these older ones do have. Well, let's try another barrier and just uh, go back after that. Okay, only one of you, and we we saw you as a normal encounter. Uh, my first my first one was actually the original Dragon Warrior, but I didn't really get into RPGs until Final Fantasy IV. At least it's Final Fantasy 2 in the U.S. Oh. I wasn't expecting reinforcements. I can only attack once, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not too worried about these guys. Their breath, though, is could be concerning. Oh, Far Cry. Never got into that series, but hopefully it was a good first memory. My first memory of playing video games was Way back on the Atari 2600, that's how old I am. <laughs> okay, two down. Don't call for reinforcements! You can't do that in vanilla! Cross for a lot more experience as a result of this. Okay, they didn't call for reinforcements, so that's that's okay. Ah, of course. And that, that's half the fun with, with your first games early on. You really don't know what you're doing, but you're still enjoying it. And it's for that reason that I would defend E.T. for the R.A. 2600 as not the worst game ever made. It was still fun as a kid. Hey, we have another <laughs> revive spell. Still don't have outside. <laughs> I may need eat a Nara with barrier against those other guys. Still no step guard or outside. Down two to go. And jiggly map. Oh, guess. Uh, we both on OG PlayStation. Never played that one either. Or is it just revolt? <laughs> Rather. 
Hey, free, free wing of Weaver in case we lose everyone who can cast return again. <laughs> I'm not not quite. And hey, we fought this guy a few times before. Only thing I'm worried about is if he starts critting us for 500. Yeah, miss us completely. And easy peasy. I got more experience. From the mass than I did from the random this. Alright. Try this other one one more time. There's just, just the final dungeon left. Ah, uh, Jiggly jiggly map. Definitely top off. Well, Diana broke 200 HP. Not bad. Oh boy. Dodging. Fortunately, they're dead. Alright. Just uh, concentrate all your. All your firepower on that super de on that super star destroyer. Nope, never mind. On one at a time, and fortunately we're still faster than they are. Ooh, yeah. Since they get two double attack, they each get at a double attack. It's that explode at that's the problem. Okay, I can have just heal on this one. Oh boy. Well, lost turn. Fortunately, we're close to top. And we'll be fine. Okay, one down. We are good. Yeah, Twilight Princess is uh, really where or the game kind of ramped up the horror elements in the Zelda series. Oh, and Rip Diana. We will stay alive. Whatever may occur, I will find you. Good, uh, that's a good favorite game to have. Twilight Princess was excellent. No one in the active party gained a level. Oh, he totally broke the... <laughs> he broke the complete interface. Yeah, our, our faces are messed up too. What did what did you throw acid on us? You know, now that I think about it, I should probably have the Zenithian sword in my inventory. Because it is useful as an item. So quick trip back to Endor to pick it up. Of course, I'm tired from my journey. My brain's so fogged up, all the words look, look weirded out.
Okay, do I still have a sort of lethargy on hand? I do. And we'll actually give that to Elena. Let's see if it works on the final boss. So quick, one last stop to the last refuge, and just get to the final area. What's the... I guess I put the Baron's Horn in storage. Oh, we'll see if that comes back to bite me. Yeah, just uh Why did you guys not attack first to kill that clay doll? Well, that sucks. I don't think I can run from these guys. Oh. This uh it's not a very good start. Fortunately these guys only print this one room as well. And paralyzed as well, even worse. Uh, could you cast some offensive abilities and just kill me already? Yeah, we we got we got paralysis. That's okay. So that only leaves Elena dead. All right, try this again. Problem is, the step guard is still unavailable. On the other plus side, I really don't need to worry about money anymore. There we go. <laughs> just do that. And once I get into a battle, just hit a Sage of Stone. <laughs> if I remember correctly, this place is fairly straightforward, even for a final dungeon, especially compared to the previous Dragon Quest games. Uh, well, I'll find the way forward. Uh, I'm an amateur voice actor. I just I just voice characters in my Let's Plays. It's basically just look for opportunities, reach out to people on Twitter who are also oh, who also do voice work, and they can provide information on finding auditions and and other uh, openings. I actually I haven't done a whole lot myself beyond for fun. Okay, came from there. Yeah, 
There we are. Now, this is normally where you would uh, use the wagon. I mean, use the, use the Baron's Horn to summon the wagon. <laughs> use the wagon. Well, you already uh, look more... Or, you already have your own proper sprite compared to Estark. Anyway, let us uh, fight Necrosaro. Main thing is get increase. And if he busts himself up, I use the Zenithian Sword to do that. Ooh, nice crit. Oh, took his arm off. <laughs> now, each after each phase, the bat each turn restarts. So this that actually helps a bit. Oh, decapitation, fatality. Nope, he's not dead yet. This is actually super impressive for some NES effects. Uh, Quebec 7, I play whatever version I feel like playing of a game. Sometimes an original, sometimes a remake, sometimes a ROM hack. It really just depends on what piques my interest. Uh, my most recent project was the Trials of Mana remake on Steam, as of recording. Uh, after this, I'm going to stream a run of Final Fantasy IV Ultima version 25, after doing a couple of Let's Plays of previous versions. And then move on to my next main let's play, which will be an original release. Currently, officially unannounced. But once my current one on YouTube is done, that will be that will be properly announced. Now, the one on YouTube, the main one, is Odin Sphere Leifersir. And my YouTube channel name is the same as my Twitch channel name. If you want to check that out. Anyway, yeah, the boss is... <laughs> Finally, you find it coming back together. Yep, I don't need to cast any spells on him. Oh, baby. <laughs> he didn't get a single attack off. That pitiful experience. But that is time. Even though I wasn't really running a timer. Of course, if you want to get the true ending, which has, after eating the post-game dungeon, you got to play the remake. Any of the remake versions, PS1, uh, DS, or mobile. And thanks for GG Nova. Uh, blah 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 blah. Nope, I don't want to live here. You guys kick me out. Split my parents up. Just complete jerks. Uh, nope. Wrong way. Yeah, they call it Zenithian, I call it Xenophobic. You know the backstory of this place. I can find my way out of here now. So, all in all, classic game, pretty good randomizer. The downside is it showcases how poorly this version has aged. Especially if you're doing ran completely random equipment and just going around blindly trying to see who can equip what, how good it is. And navigating the cumbersome menus. Yeah, I, I did beat the game. This is the ending. Basically, the Zenithian dragon said, Oh, well done. Do you want to live here? The hero says, Nope, I'm going home. And all our companions go on their way. Now this is going to be interesting because the this is programmed to go to locations on the original map of the game, so we're, we may just go completely nowhere.
Yep. <laughs> Oh, Elena, Bray, and Crystal go home. That's down our party size by half automatically. I'll go ahead and enjoy this, even though <laughs> graphically doesn't make any sense. I mean, we had a castle in the middle of the ocean, for crying out loud. But, uh, otherwise, with the right flag settings, this is a lot more enjoyable than the previous seed. I don't think I'll bother to finish it up. I'll just uh, check those last locations and just let the people who are watching know oh, that I found the Zenithian sword and could have finished it up. But that'll be entirely off camera. And by the time this goes up on YouTube, that'll be long over with. Yeah, we took Ragnar home. He was greeted as a hero. Hey, we we almost Endor was almost in his vanilla spot. <laughs> yeah, Taloon goes home, gets chewed out by his wife and kid for abandoning him. Oh, yeah, just chuck your kid away, Taloon. No affection whatsoever. This ending theme on this version sounds like circus music. A nice little uh, medley of character themes, though. <laughs> Landing right in the middle of the mountains. But it felt good to finish one of these. Yep, sisters pay their respects to their father, finally avenged him properly, and they just go back to their jobs. As for our heroine, her job is done. Time to take a break. Never did find the woodcutter's cabin, though. And the game does imply that that woodcutter is her father. And you can meet her mother on Zenithia. Well, uh, I guess we need to call in a builder, but for unfortunately they haven't started Dragon Quest Builders 3 yet. you got to wait a couple games before it, before it catches up to you. And the hero gets chewed out for ditching the companions. In terms of Dragon Quest, this one is not my favorite overall, but I would say it has my favorite cast. And a lot of people agree with that because the, the characters from Dragon Quest IV have more cameos than most of the others combined. And funny enough, the only one who does not show up anywhere is Bray. <laughs> Everyone else you can find in at least two or three other games, especially Fortune Street. I mean, Elena is everywhere. You usually almost always find Elena and Crystal teamed up, especially in Dragon Quest Heroes. Uh, Mina and Maya, definitely Maya especially. Ragnar shows up in Fortune Street and Dragon Quest Heroes 2 on Switch. And Taloon has his own uh, spin-off series. And of course the hero does show up in Smash Brothers, at least the male hero from this one. Yep, as Nova mentions out, Elena is Opie's big pile of salt in Fortune Street. She knows how to uh, wreck him. In my case, it was Jessica who kept wrecking me. And again, she is S rank in the Wii version. In the PS2 and PS4 ones, I think she's only a B.
Well, I don't know what kind of effect they're, they're going for these credits. Looks like they're slowly crumbling away. But then again, uh, I did just beat a game recently where the the danger of a main character overusing his powers does turn him into a pile of salt and he crumbles away like that. So, uh, I won't say what it was, because that is a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> Excellent game series, though. I will probably stream the whole. I will probably stream it down the line. Still not saying what it is, though. But in terms of this randomizer, I don't expect to do any more seasons anytime soon. It was again. It, it shows how badly this version of the game has aged. I really want to do another Soul Blazer Secret of Mana one again sometime soon. Don't know if they'll be recorded for YouTube, but definitely, definitely casually on Twitch. Uh, my next planned randomizer to try out for the first time is Fantasy Star 4. Uh, that will probably be a big train wreck, because I haven't played that game in forever. That, Link's Awakening, and Crystallis are on my short list. In fact, I already got art for all three of those done. <laughs> but, uh, with the end, uh, we'll close it out here. So, the uh, next tertiary project for YouTube... Is currently unplanned. This this is kind of the the, the set point for uh, a recording break because after this on Twitch, I by the time this is up on YouTube, I will have done uh, FF4 Ultima version 25. Very likely have recorded Wild Arms as a secondary project, and very likely have started and maybe fully recorded my next major let's play after. After Odin Sphere. So, in order to get you guys away from this incessant humming, go ahead and close out here. Thank you guys again for watching. I'm Gunarm Dine. Call me Dine. If life's to give you a hard day, don't be afraid to eat your pudding a fork. And I'll see you for the next weekend project. When you just listen to this all night.